We are moving really well. Let's finish with a good bit of our friends at Atlanta United from our resident Atlanta United fan, Connor Wright. All right, here we go. Brand new coach this year. Uh, me personally, I could say I'm very happy to see Gabriel Heinz is now the coach instead of Frank DeBoer. Did you know he? Did you know he got fired by Atlanta? Did you? I don't know. Oh, and, Andrew, Adam did you doesn't know? get that joke. No, I know he doesn't. Adam but... doesn't get that joke. <laughs> um, uh, we could just skip the next two parts. So the formation. <laughs> yeah, no, we, we definitely might... don't. Where they finished last year? <laughs> what was their record? Where they finished? Let me know. Let me know. Uh. I don't. Do I really have to look this up? Let me let me help you because I've got it right here. <laughs> I don't think they in played a, last year. The league, they just took off last year. In in the conference, um, third to last, only above DC United and soon to be first place finishers FC Cincinnati. I forgot Red Bull have to finish second because FCC are going to finish first. And uh, where'd they finish in the league overall? Let's find out. Do 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 do. Drop that. Oh, man, I got to scroll really far down. 23rd. The only other team that were worse than them was Houston. Unreal. You were basically D.C. United and F.C. Cincinnati combined. How does that make you feel? Uh, that's irrelevant. Uh, so this year, it, it's a new year, all right? New year, new things. Week. Yeah, exactly. And things, things – in my opinion, are looking really good. I like the way this team is shaping up a lot. So we have them down as a 4-3-3 formation. We got Guzan and goal at right back, either Hernandez or Lennon. And center backs, Miles Robinson. I don't want to say Alan Franco yet because we've seen <laughs> – we saw last time what happened the last time they signed somebody. Yeah, I think I think that one's basically across the line. I think so, too. So, Robinson and Franco will probably be starting. Um, Anton Walks is a backup. I said maybe an outside shot. We see some George Campbell minutes this year. Who knows? I got to be honest with you. I don't even know who that is. Yeah, he's another one of their academy guys that hasn't really gotten any shots. Side note, Atlanta has done great in the draft, I feel like. But with their academy guys, they've done a horrible job. They had so many guys that when they signed to, um, like, young contracts that we were like, oh, these guys are going to be good. Bella was one of them. And then they had, what, uh, Lagos Kunga, right? Kunga, Chris Gosselin, Car and, um, Carlton. Well, Carlton yeah. was a head case. That's not on them. Yeah, I mean, anyway. Um and then George Bellow at right back, which is probably the reason why we saw Gutman go to RBNY. Then in the midfield, we got uh, Sosa coming in, playing defensive mid. Uh, I have Rosetto and Heinemann ahead of him, playing a little bit farther forward. And then I have Moreno playing on the right. Barco on the left and Yosef back up top. And boy, is it so nice to say that again. <laughs> uh, obviously, this is maybe not the lineup that they're going to play. I think I tried to base it off of what Heinz has played in the past. It could obviously completely change. Not sure. Could maybe see Moreno play more centrally. But um, I don't remember them having... Well, you know what? He should play more centrally. That way we can play Machop Chol on the right. Right, Adam? <laughs> Love it. <laughs> uh, so then, key players. Yosef, obviously. <laughs> Someone was on, messing God, with read, my notes. Read what, read what you wrote. Read He's the best wrote. player in MLS history. That's not what I'm reading. I'm and... reading the worst ever player. That's what I'm reading. Yeah, well, uh, this isn't about, you know, and I'm not going to say it. I don't want another tangent. Yosef... <laughs> Is going to look to bounce back this year. Say it. You know, say it. Don't no, 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 no. Say no, we're going to – Say it. No, no, no. Say it. Not, we've gone way too long already. We're not going on a tangent. We have and we're going to we're gonna hope, for the sake of everybody in the league, we're going to hope that he can return back to his MVP caliber. Definitely not. Um, yes, because when Yosef is doing well, the league is doing well. 
uh, and then <laughs> and then I put Moreno as well. So I think he could be their main creative player. Kind of feels like the Miggy to Yosef kind of connection a little bit. You know, I, I never got that feeling when PT was here. But in the little bits that I got to see Moreno play last year, it kind of felt like he has the potential to link up with Yosef well like that. But um, obviously they haven't played together before, so that's a little bit yet to be seen. But definitely exciting potential there. And then I said Miles Robinson. We saw he had a huge 2019 season, really took a step up, and then last year took the step right back down. He had a pretty rough year. I think he was going through some injuries as well. Uh, but we're really going to need him to step up again and try to return to that 2019 form. You know, I originally wrote this before they signed Franco, so he was in that case he was definitely going to have to you know marshal the back line be a bit more of a a leader for us especially with you know the the back line's pretty young uh whether it's like Hernandez or Lennon on the right Bello on the left so he, he almost feels like one of the more veteran guys in their back line obviously you have Goose and Goal but uh, I'm definitely really interested to see if Robinson can bounce back and speaking of bouncing back, guys who need to have a good 2021. Nice. Segue. Miles Robinson. <laughs> Thanks. I'm kind of good at the segue thing, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We're, we're actually going to just be the designated segue podcast. <laughs> uh, as of right now, well, this doesn't apply anymore. <laughs> when I originally wrote this, I said we need another big center back, which we got. Uh so that takes some of the heat off of Miles Robinson. But regardless, definitely think he needs to bounce back after last year. I said Barco. Definitely Barco needs to have a good 2021 because at this point, you can't even say he's still adjusting and all that stuff. Like, he's had his time. He needs to, you know, prove his value and prove that he was worth the price tag. Because, I mean, the hype when he came in was ridiculous. And while he's shown flashes of good potential – it just hasn't been consistent at all. And he really needs to he needs to have more of that uh good some more of those good flashes, but more consistently. So I'm hoping to see that for this year. And I think if he has a big season, that'll be that'll be the ticket to get him to Europe. So he'll be gone if he has a good season. And then I said Sosa, and I don't know too much about him. I haven't really seen how he plays or anything, but assuming he plays in a defensive midfield position, I think that he could have a similar role to ring with NYCFC, kind of just sit in front of the back line, try to clean things up. I originally, when they before they signed Franco, I figured he would definitely have more of a key role because I felt the back line was definitely going to be a bit shaky. So I thought he was going to be even more important than obviously now some of that pressure is off, but still going to be a really important player for us because if he can really lock it down back there, then that can allow Rosetto or Hyman or whoever's playing in front of him to really go forward and not have to worry as much about getting back and defending if he can really lock that up there. And like I said, with the back line being very young, there could be a lot of mistakes. I think he'll help to kind of uh, mitigate that. So, um. Yeah, Atlanta to the cup, to the shield. And to the look at that. Open We're cup. More out of time. <laughs> I'm still angry because I have a Wikipedia page open to Eric Williamson. And that is not. You need to move on. That's not where this conversation should have gone. Um, yeah, no, I, I, we joke about it all the time. I hope Yosef comes back to like 75% of what he was because that still makes him a top five striker in the league but doesn't put him above Brian White, which is all that we're really looking for, right? Um, no, like I said, this this team is building back in the right direction after FDB took them down the, down the drains a little bit. Um, center back, you want to see a, a bit stronger. I want to see George Bellow have a year, man. I want to see him come out and just ball out. Like to the point where we're we're talking Juve Roma type of transfer moves. Want to see Sosa fit in with 
Rosetto Moreno park over the lot. I feel like that would be a really cool thing to see. Um, but no, I think they're moving in the right direction. I think Heinz is a good, good squad in front of him. And if he can just get them all bought in, going in the right direction, they'll be more than fine. Yeah. One other thing I wanted to note too, if Yosef is a little bit slow to come back, hopefully this doesn't happen, but if he like re-agitates his injury, Atlanta's really deep at striker this year as opposed to last year. So I definitely would have faith in the team to be able to continue to play well, even if he goes down again. I mean, you have Eric Lopez, Lissandro Lopez, you got Kubo. So there's definitely some options up top. I mean, this team's pretty, the team's pretty deep in general, to be honest with you. I mean, they have Jurgen Dam as well, still on the team. Yep. Jake, Jake Mulrady, Mo Adams, Franco Ibarra. You know, they got a lot of players. Mikey Ambrose is back. The team is a lot deeper than one may think. Excuse me. Adam, your thoughts? Um, I kind of want to see what Yosef does. I mean, he didn't do anything last year. What the hell was going on? <laughs> um, Sucks. I don't know. He's, Brian White scored more than him. I don't know. Zero goals last season? Like Listen, the hell? He needed to give everybody else a chance. I mean, yeah, but, like, do something. Um, No, I think George Bellow is probably the player I'm going to look at the most. Um, I feel like he should be the starter. At least, you know, the, the brief few games that I saw of him last season. Like, he seems potentially like one of those guys that in a year or two could get a big transfer or – another transfer abroad um, just because he's so, so young. But, yeah, Atlanta, I I can't imagine, does worse than last season. So, they obviously – It would be really great if they did. I mean – That would yes, make me laugh. It would really not be great. 